Hi guys, so in today's video we will be learning about what classification and regression is in a machine learning model. Why they are used, what is their significance and how they are utilized within creation and working of a machine learning model. Once learned, classification and regression are very easy steps and learning them isn't very tough. But don't take our word for it, here's Mitch Shah to simplify it for you. There are two flavors of supervised learning, classification and regression. Let's focus on classification first. Classification consists in assigning a category to an observation. We are predicting a discrete variable. That is a variable that can take only a few different values. Is this customer going to stop his subscription or not? Is this mole cancerous or not? Is this wine red, white or rosé? Is this flower a rose, a tulip, a carnation, a lily? Remember, we feed the model observations. Let's take college admissions where we want to predict acceptance. For simplification, we show two features here, GPA and admission test results. We could have more features like involvement in student organizations and sports or prizes applicants have won and the target is what we want to predict. There are two possible labels, those who are accepted and those who are not. The target can only be one of these two labels, making it a classification problem. Here, our observations are plotted, GPA on the x-axis and test results on the y-axis. So the blue points represent accepted applicants and the red points represent your rejected applicants. We keep 80% of our data to train a model because we use just two features. We are able to plot and interpret the results. For us humans, it's pretty clear. If you score above four on both the GPA and entrance test, you are accepted. If we added more features like extracurriculars or prizes, we would need more axes. It would be then very hard for us to interpret the data with a human eye. However, a model wouldn't struggle at all. We can use a support vector machine. It sounds scary, but it's just the line separating our points. We train our algorithm and classify the 20% of observations we left aside. <laughs> it only misclassifies two blue points as red, meaning two applicants were wrongly predicted as rejected. The problem is it tries to separate with a straight line. So it's unlikely to do better than that. What if we allow a curved line instead, then it classifies everything correctly. There are ways we can tweak our models behavior like allowing curves. We'll talk about that later. Now, what about regression? While classification assigns a category, regression assigns a continuous variable. That is a variable that can take any value. For example, how much will this stock be worth? What is this exoplanet's mass? How tall will this child be as an adult? Let's look at some new data, weather readings. Can we predict temperature based on humidity? So we use 80% of the data to train a model. Seems like when the humidity rises, the temperature decreases. Indeed, our linear regression model catches that, making this a good model. According to our model, if the humidity rate is 0 0.5, then the temperature is 18.5 degrees Celsius. And this is how the model performs on real data. It identified the trend, but is still bad at predicting. More features like wind, cloudiness, location, season to make it more accurate. It's up to you to choose whether you want to frame your problem as a regression or classification problem. For example, we could predict an exit temperature or a categorical range of temperatures like cold, mild and hot. This is true for something like age where we can have categories like baby, child, teenager, adult and so on. Hope you see the difference between classification and regression.